Hello guys, how are you? It's been a while. Um, I didn't record or talk to myself or to you or do anything since the end of Me My Muse challenge and I really wanted to catch up. I didn't have anything that I can actually film on my daily life that uh, was worth showing to you but uh, I think that this new format of video could be useful for this kind of month because um, I have this cool illustration I wanted to show you and I filmed the whole process of it and also in this way I can catch up via voice with you because um, I can describe to you what I've been doing during November after the challenge but also I can um, make sure I can show you something during the process so if you just want to look and remove the audio and enjoy the drawing feel free if you just are drawing or cleaning dishes or whatever you're doing like I do usually when I watch videos then uh, just feel free not to watch and just listen to my hopefully organized thoughts so let's go so what I've been doing this November usually when I finish this kind of October drawing challenges I'm uh, very happy I don't think that I'm drained but after all I realized that after a few days or a few weeks after the challenge, I don't draw anymore. And so I probably am tired, I just don't realize that. So actually, yeah, I didn't draw much in November, but because I had other things that I wanted to think about and the year is almost over. Not that this should make you anxious because it doesn't really matter, especially now, what's the difference? I mean, honestly, but there were a few things that I wanted to get done, mostly because in December, if airports allow, I'm gonna go to Italy to visit my family. Um, so I wanted things to be done before I visit my brother and sister in Bologna because um, I'm not sure if I go when I'll be able to come back here. So you can imagine I need to be quite organized about that. First thing that I tried to do this month is getting started a nice decluttering of my life and stuff because um, I didn't do a proper one since 2016 which is when was it 2017 yes beginning of 2017 when I left London so that one was very rushed and very stressful um, but since then I've been more careful in what things I buy and uh, so it shouldn't be as bad and don't buy as much as before um, but there were a lot of things to go through I didn't finish obviously it's not something you can do in two weeks but uh, I started to do a, a no like a big bag of things to give away and I have products that I saved since London and since then I never used so I'm finally getting rid of those and I have some clothes I also didn't use since before London but I was keeping me because I thought, oh, they're expensive. I don't want to get rid of it. It's such a waste. Maybe one day I'm going to use it, but I'm not going to use it. Honestly, some of them, I cannot even fit in them anymore. And I don't intend on doing it again. So, I mean, let it go. Somebody else can have it. I spent money, whatever I've been using it is gone now. Yeah, and that's the first thing I've been starting to do. I've been feeling quite down and I feel like doing something like this when I'm very confused and very down instead of being more depressing is actually helpful at, at least for me because I managed to let go of things that are actually useless to me and because I'm not capable sometimes of doing it in my thoughts then it's for me easier to do it on my possessions I feel like I have control of that and it really helps me clean up my mind a little bit as well that's one of the things. Second thing is one that I kind of had it in my list of achievement for this year, but it was so threatening to me that I actually didn't even write it, um, which is that I really wanted to finally open a Patreon creator account, which I know most of you will know what it is. I don't want to be the person that say you have to know what it is. So I'd rather be Mrs. Obvious and explain to you what Patreon is at this point because, I mean, one minute extra is not gonna ruin the video, right? Patreon is a place in which 
there is a creator and there are patrons. In this case, it could be you. It doesn't have to, but it could. So the creator opens up a page and it's like a secret page, let's say, in which the creator can post whatever they want. Like, for example, you know, a work in progress or a, a behind the scenes of their work or like uh, tutorials, whatever. It depends from the creator. And then patrons are basically the people that donate monthly to this uh, creator that they chosen. And uh, by donating, they helping the creator keep doing what they do, paying for them to keep creating. And that's it. There is something that a lot of people I follow already have, and I've always been threatened a bit because I was just scared of, of it. And then I didn't know if I could offer enough. I think this is the biggest paranoia of anybody who wants to create an account. But at one point you have to just say, why would I be scared? I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. You just have to say up front what you can offer and then people will decide if they want to support you or not. Just be honest with yourself and with others and it should go fine, right? So this is what I'm trying to do. I wanted to uh, try to create a space in which I feel more free to share more because I already share quite often on my social media but I don't share everything and I don't share many of the stages because I like my Instagram page for example to look a bit cleaner so I don't share you know when I'm in pencil stage I don't share all of my thoughts I see more the Patreon account not as an account that will remove something from my already existing accounts but something that will be more in-depth and more uh, uh, how do you say intimate um, a bit more intimate than just a public page that anyone can access especially because sometimes it's a bit threatening to share on social media because there are a lot of experience of people random weirdos just coming and stealing your things and then things that you're sharing for free for people to enjoy become like exploited by some random dude on the internet and this is quite sad this being said is something that happened to me before obviously and this is not the reason why i'm creating patreon because i don't want to live in fear this thing will happen like let's say a thousand people will just enjoy your art and maybe one will steal it but it's still worth it because a thousand people enjoy your art right so yeah so the first reason, as I told you, why I created this account was more to have a, like a secret club in which we can uh, be together and like and I can share my thoughts and I can ask you for advice if I have some doubts about a uh, composition or a color or an idea, you know, that to keep inspired, to keep motivated by your presence and maybe have a more direct contact. And obviously the second reason is because uh, um, what I create it's always been created because it came out of me. I never asked myself why, and I never particularly tried to monetize what I do. In fact, I mean, honestly, some people can think, oh, she has 100K followers on Instagram, so she is a successful artist. I feel very successful in a sense that I'm very happy that I can share my work with so many people, but don't ever think that this is something that makes you money at all. Um, I don't really make money of my, out of my art, except when I decide to sell in my shop. I think that having Patreon will help me to keep doing what I already do, but also people's donation will help me being able to focus more on what I already do because they will help me with my daily expenses and materials and you know, even by lessening my worries about bills, they will definitely help towards my creativity. So yeah, I don't know, like, I'm sure there are better ways to explain this. I'm trying to do my best because a thought is so clear in your mind and then you say it aloud and it, it kind of doesn't come out as you want to say it. But uh, yeah, obviously I don't want people either to feel pressure to have to do it. But yeah, the page is there. So please check it out if you want. I think that's about it. I hope uh, in the meantime you've been enjoying my process. 
this illustration is something that uh, I really wanted to complete a long time ago. I made the first draft when I was in Sweden and I decided to redo it from scratch because it deserved some love. Hopefully I'll see you in the comments and then maybe on the Patreon page. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm happy we managed to catch up and then I could explain to you what I've been doing during this November. There's still half a month to go. I try to finish what I started and I hope you're doing well. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing. It's nice to share regardless even if you're doing nothing different from your usual. Remember that your usual is not everybody's usual. So it's still interesting to hear. Have a nice day and thank you for listening and watching and talk soon. Bye.